Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we continue with translation and rotation. And we will go through 2-3 very important problems from your past paper questions. So, I hope you remember, we learned two operations. One is translating an axis and they will give you the new origin. And the formula is x equal to capital X plus H and y is equal to capital Y plus K where H comma K is the new origin and capital X Y is the new system and small x y is the original system. And if you want you can use small x small y for the new system also but using capital X and capital Y is better because you will be able to recognize this is the old one this is the new one. Okay and then we learned how to rotate a system. Then we learn how to rotate a system through an angle theta in the anti-clockwise direction. And what we used is a trick, the matrix, the rotational matrix C minus S, S, C. That means cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta, cos theta. All you have to do is you have to multiply this by capital XY and that will give you the values of small xy. Or you can remember capital X cos theta minus Y sin theta is the first one and X sin theta and Y cos theta is the second one. Okay. Now, one more very important thing. I am not going to work out that question. Suppose, suppose they ask you to do translation and rotation together. Then, my suggestion is do it one by one. Otherwise, because there is a combined formula that, that look like x equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta plus h and y is equal to similarly plus k. Uh, it's okay to apply this formula but simplification will be really 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 difficult. So my opinion, my opinion is first of all you can do translation, you will get an answer and then do rotation on that answer. That will be a little bit easy for simplification. Okay, so the first question goes like this. This is from 2075 Ashwin. Okay, so I will read the question. So they are asking, transform the equation 12x squared minus 10x into y plus 2y squared plus 11 times x minus 5 times y plus 2 equal to 0 and they want to translate the axis what do they want to do they want you to translate the axis into an equation so that this equation will be transformed into an equation with no linear terms so i'll repeat the question once more they want you to transform this equation into an equation with no linear terms. First of all, let me make it very clear. Linear term means term which contains x and term which contains y. So they want to do translation in such a way that or they want you to find h comma k in such a way that the new equation will not have any linear term. Anyway, uh, I'll teach you how to do this. So all you have to do is you have to write. Let h comma k be the new origin. And let the transformations be. Come on, tell me what's the formula? Yeah, x equal to x plus h, y is equal to y plus k. So let h comma k be the new origin and the transformations be x equal to x plus h, y equal to y plus k so that the transformed equation will not have linear terms. Now let's write the transformed equation is so 12 into x plus h the whole square minus 10 into okay I'll strongly recommend pause the video and you try to work out by yourself and at the last uh, compare the answer with the answer I am showing in the video. So y plus k plus 2 into y plus k the whole square plus 11 into x plus h 
minus 5 times y plus k plus 2 equal to 0. So, this is the new equation. So, let us simplify this. What is a plus b the whole square? Yeah, a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, again the same thing 10. Now, let us distribute x, xy plus xk plus hy plus hk plus 2 into y square plus 2 yk plus k square plus 11x plus 11h minus 5y minus 5k plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, now do not simplify further and call it equation number 1. So, tell me what is our aim? We have to translate. So, we have already done the translation. Now, what is aim number 2? Aim number 2, we have to make the new equation without capital X and capital Y. So, I will color the targets. So, I do not want this. I do not want this. I do not want this person. This one. This one. This one. So, I am going to write like this. Coefficient of X. So, what are the coefficients of X? You can just imagine you are distributing 12. So, 12 times 2, 24H and then minus 10 into K and then plus 11 and coefficient of Y. So, I can see minus 10 into H then plus 2 into 2, 4 into k. Can you see this 2 goes inside and it will be 4 minus 5. Now, what should what is our aim? I am asking. So, once more. So, what is our aim? We have to get rid of that um, what you call coefficient of x and coefficient of y. So, all we have to do is we have to equate this to 0. We have to equate these two things to 0. Now, let us put it in the standard form so that we can use a calculator. So, 24h minus 10k is equal to minus 11 and 10h minus 4k is equal to minus 5. Now, use a calculator. Okay, I got, you can confirm your answer, h is equal to minus 3 by 2 and k is equal to minus 5 by 2. So, the new origin, the new origin is minus 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2 or in other words, you have to understand that if you use h equal to minus 3 by 2 and k is equal to minus 5 by 2, then all the linear terms will disappear. Now, you have to do one more thing you have to write the new equation. Remember, in the new equation, the linear terms will disappear. So, you do not have to waste your time simplifying those things. So, all you have to do is you have to substitute 12 into x square plus. We can ignore this because that linear term will disappear. Now, what is h square? That is 9 by 4 because we already found the value of h. Minus 10 xy this will disappear and this will be h into k that will be 15 by 4. Now, I am leaving the remaining part to you. You simplify. So, one of you please put the answer in the comment section so that it will be useful for everyone. Now, let us go for another important question. They asked the question in 2074. I have seen this question 2-3 times through what angle that means they are asking you to find the angle through which we should rotate the axis. So, they are asking through what angle should the axis be rotated so that the equation please write the equation. This is from 2074 Chaitra 3x square plus 2xy plus 3y square 
minus root 2 into x. This x is outside the square root. Be very careful. Equal to 0. We will turn into an equation without x y term. So, did you get the point? So, we have to transform, we have to transform this into an equation without x y term by means of rotation. And they are asking, what is the new equation? And the marks are given like 2 plus 3. So, if you find the theta value, they will give you 2 marks. And if you find the transformed equation, they will give you remaining 3 marks. Okay. So, let us start like this. Let theta be the required angle. And do you remember the shortcut? C minus S, S, C, the rotational matrix. So, the formula goes like uh, X equal to capital X cos theta minus capital Y sin theta and Y is equal to capital X sin theta plus capital Y cos theta. Okay, now what we do is we substitute minus root 2 times okay now what we are going to do is we are going to expand it don't forget our aim is to find theta in such a way that x y term will disappear so this goes like x square cos square theta minus 2 x y sin theta cos theta plus y square sin square theta plus 2 into now distribute this x cos theta we get x square cos theta sin theta plus x y cos square theta minus x y sin square theta minus y square sin theta cos theta Try to do it yourself. I am doing it a little bit fast. So, the handwriting is messed up. So, x square sin square theta plus 2xy sin theta cos theta plus y square cos square theta minus root 2 into x cos theta minus y sin theta. Okay, now I will target. I will target a few people. Okay, so can you see? Yeah. And also remember, it gets multiplied by 3. And our next target, and remember, it gets multiplied by 2. Now, the last target. Okay, so why did I say that is our target? Yeah, our target is to get rid of coefficients of xy. So, what is the coefficient of xy? You can write coefficient of x, y. So, that will be minus 6 sin theta cos theta plus 2 into. Can you see that this x, y will come common and you will get cos square theta minus sin square theta. And the last one will be plus 6 sin theta cos theta equal to 0. Okay, so this is going to get cancelled. Now, what is our aim? Don't forget coefficient of x y should be equal to 0. Can anyone tell me what is cos square theta minus sin square theta? Exactly, cos 2 theta. Now, can you guess when will cos 2 theta become 0? When 2 theta is equal to 90 degrees. That is it. We got the angle pi by 4. So, what I understand now is if I plug in theta equal to pi by 4, if I plug in theta equal to pi by 4, then all the x y terms will disappear and must disappear. So, now we have to do one more thing because I told you, you will get only 2 marks for this. Now, the remaining 3 marks is for the transformed equation. 
So for the transformed equation all you have to do is you have to plug in theta is equal to 45 degree and like I told you before you can ignore this blue color terms. So you can do that part and like I mentioned earlier someone put the answer in the comment section. So once more I will repeat all you have to do is you have to plug in this theta equal to pi by 4 and simplify. Okay. Now one more question that I want to specify. Okay, this has been asked long back two three times. So they are asking what happens to the equation 4xy minus 3x square is equal to a square if the axis is rotated through an angle theta where theta is given by the equation tan theta is equal to 2. So let us make it clear. They are asking you to rotate the axis through an angle theta. But instead of giving the angle they are telling you theta is designed in such a way that tan theta equal to 2. There are many methods to do but I feel the triangle method is the simplest method because you are all familiar with the right angle triangle. So let us say this is the angle theta. What is tan theta? 2. 2 means 2 divided by 1. Do not forget 2 means 2 divided by 1. So we got the ratio 2 by 1 so that I know the perpendicular will be 2 and the base will be 1 and the hypotenuse will be root under 2 square plus 1 square that will be root under 5. Now you might be wondering I, why I am drawing the triangle. Come on. The transformation is what is the rotational matrix? C minus S, S, C. That means I would use the formula x equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta and y is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta. That means I need cos theta and sin theta. If I want the transformed formula, if I want the transformation formula, I need cos theta and sin theta. And using a triangle, I can find cos theta and sin theta. Come on, what is sin theta? It will be 2 by root 5, perpendicular by hypotenuse. What will be cos theta? It is 1 by root 5. So, the transformation will be x equal to, what should I write instead of cos theta? 1 by root 5. And what should I write instead of sin theta? 2 by root 5. Similarly, y is equal to x into 2 by root 5 plus y into 1 by root 5. Now, this 1 by root 5 comes common. So, the transformation will be 1 by root 5 into x minus 2y and small y equal to 1 by root 5 into x plus 2x plus y. So, what is the transformed equation? Okay, let us put it in the given equation. 4 into, we are multiplying x and y. So, 1 by root 5, 1 by root 5 will be 1 by 5. x minus 2y, 2x plus y minus 3 into, we are supposed to square this x. So, again I will get 1 by 5 into x minus 2y the whole square equal to a square. So, we get 4 times, just distribute this. 2x square plus xy minus 4xy minus 2y square minus 3 into a minus b the whole square a square minus 4xy plus 4y square equal to 5a square. What I did is I am multiplying throughout by 5 and doing some expansion. Anyway the final answer should be x square minus 4y square equal to a square. So that is it. In the next video, we will be talking about some important questions in ellipse and hyperbola. So till then my friends, bye.